New Zealander Jeremy Moon, our guest. He's the founder of Icebreaker, an entrepreneur. Uh, it's a company in New Zealand, but it's other places too. Uh, New York flagship store? Just opened in Soho. Really? Yeah. How very, much fun's that? Very fun. We needed something scary and expensive. We put it next to Chanel and opposite Patagonia. <laughs> really? So it's kind Perfect of... Perfect placement. Yeah, it was. Mm, because yeah. it's all about branding, as you know, so much of it. It's about connecting with people. Yeah. Yeah, it's a people business, but it's also a placement business. Like yes, uh, where you're seen, who's wearing it, yeah. who's not wearing it. You know, I mean, a uh, 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 celebrity, movie star pops up in an icebreaker or a Patagonia or a Lululemon. That's a good day. That's exactly right. I guess right. if you like the uh, celebrity, I don't know, does it matter? Tiger yeah. Woods wears it and wins the tournament? Um, so we sell in Canada and almost 400 outdoor and snow sports stores. And a lot of those people you're talking about love, mm -hmm. you know, skiing in Whistler or wherever sure. it is and travel a lot. Mm -hmm. So um, we're always reading um, magazines and seeing um, a whole bunch of celebrities turning up wearing icebreaker. We don't actually kind of go and chase people, but it right. just happens surprisingly. It just happens they pick that to wear. Well, I saw Sarah Palin <laughs> on the cover of Newsweek and uh, in kind of a sporty looking uh, shirt, and it was yours. Yeah, I was pretty surprised. It matches the American, <laughs> it matches the American flag, that's it. She looks great in that top. I was pretty surprised by that. Um, she was doing a shoot for Runner's World because they were really interested in icebreaker because right. they're going, what is the stuff that it doesn't stink when you run, it can transform the way mm -hmm. you run? And then the next minute I know she's on the cover of Newsweek. Sure. Um, so she's controversial, but there are people in that tea party, I'll tell you, <laughs> that are probably all wearing icebreakers because Sarah wore it, or maybe <laughs> not. What about the whole design concept, uh, the, the, how the shirt is cut? What it looks like, can you throw some pearls on if you're a girl and go to dinner in an icebreaker shirt? Question. Yeah, well, we have different categories. We started off actually doing thermal underwear, and then we started um, creating lightweight sweaters. We do, uh, here you go, we do uh, basic running tops at the moment. We do men's and women's uh, casual wear, oh, yeah, which is perfect. Oh, yeah, great golf shirt. Perfect for golf, perfect mm -hmm. for travel. So you, something like this, because it doesn't hold odour, you can, you can travel with less pieces, not have to wash them, uh, do more on them. Um, there's, a lot, there's a whole sport collection we've got. Um, uh, hoodies, uh, jackets, oh, yeah. um, mid-layer uh, pieces, a Unisex, underwear. male, female, a little yeah, bit of both. Specific, there's a men's and oh, yeah, women's collection. Wow. We've got a specialist bike collection, which we launched yes. in this month um, for the first time. Uh, we do dresses, even if you want. So you go, what the hell is an outdoor company doing dresses yeah. for? Well, it's because the customers discover us in the mountains and then they go, this stuff is so good, I still want to wear it downtown. Sure. So creating, creating pieces which can mm -hmm. move because we and do more with less clothing. If you're not at a snazzy club, you can probably wear this on the golf course. Yeah, you know, exactly. some of the snazzy clubs measure how long your skirt is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exactly right. And also what you're doing there is exactly right because you can pack it down and fit it in your hand and then comes out of your wardrobe, boom. So the good whole for travel. Really, really good for travel. Wow. So you don't have to iron this? You don't have to iron it. You hardly have to wash it. It feels like silk mm. and it's a total revolution. So what's happening is lots of people are copying us, but that's good. Sure. We, we went, you know, there's... He says. <laughs> well, I mean, it is good. It's a because, compliment? Yeah, it's a compliment. We started the category, we said we're a category creation company, mm -hmm. and it's excellent that the big guys are beginning to explore Merino because it's better for human beings. Right, well Nike started small, you know that. So what have been the, the hurdles <laughs> been? Uh, you didn't know, you weren't raised in the rag trade, you no. didn't know a lot about retailing. Nothing. Nothing, you weren't a farmer. No, but I was, uh, yeah, but. Did you wear a, uh, Italian suits? <laughs> no, but I was frustrated with wearing stinky polyester and, mm -hmm. and polypropylene. And sometimes the best companies are driven by a sense of frustration and knowing that there's something out there. Right. So for me, I'm really driven by questions, the challenge of sure. growing an international business, a love of design. And when you export and uh, do all of that, do you have a whole uh, part of the company, that it's their job, or are you hands-on? Are you a hands-on CEO? A little bit of this, a little bit of that, devil's in the details? We've got a few hundred uh, people in our 
executive team, we've got eight offices around the world. So our Canadian office is here in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. We've also got in Portland, Oregon, and uh, Switzerland, France, Germany, Prague, Melbourne, mm -hmm. Australia, as well as New Zealand. So I've got expert teams. So I, I yeah, we're lucky. We have great, right. highly skilled people. And my job is to work with people, to inspire them, to create what's next, and then make sure we're delivering to a high standard. Okay, and you're opening in Vancouver tonight? That's right, yeah, we're opening a new Soon? store. And, uh, and, and is and it Kits. strictly icebreaker, or it's just uh, into somebody else's store, or how does that work? It's, it's a specialist store that we're opening on uh, West 4th in uh, Kitsilano. It's, 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 it's great, our neighbors are across the road from the North Face, just down from Lululemon, right. so good, healthy, okay. good, you know, healthy successful. Block. Companies, mm -hmm. great block, really active crowd. It's really our type of town. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of New Zealanders in Vancouver because oh, <laughs> you bet a, there is. a glamorous and version we of have what one we've got here back home. who works with us, and uh, uh, yeah. she brings us Manuka honey. Yeah, I met Nicola. She's great. She looks, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Fanny. Nice to see you. Really, really great. Thank you. Jeremy Moon, CEO and founder of Icebreaker.